Hi everyone! I'm doing another card today using another stamp set that's leaving us the end of this month. This Upsy Daisy stamp set is on the retired list. I've used this set over and over and over. You can tell it's looking a little bit, well, the cover's a bit dirty. But um, I love this set. It's really, really versatile. The sayings that come in it are, You're on my mind, birthday celebrations, and thank you for your friendship. Which are all great sayings that we can use all the time. So, this is a technique that I love. It's easy and I don't show it often enough. Um, all you need are your Stampin' Pastels. These are our chalks. You open it up. This is what it looks like. Um, some of these are really, really well loved. Uh, the colors up here coordinate with how they're lined up inside the case so you know what color you're wanting to use or you can just wing it like I normally do. So I'm going to open that up like this. So you can use these numerous ways. They come with little applicators. I'll be honest, I prefer using Q-tips instead. So you could use these for coloring. You can also use your blender pen inside of these. You could use um, a sponge and cut it up. I buy these, of course, from Stampin' Up! You get three in a package. A little bit of dog hair there. That's all right. And then I just cut them. And then I use those for coloring as well. And the other thing you can get are these super duper awesome sponge daubers from Stampin' Up! And you just dab, dab, dab and color. And these are what we're going to use today. So, I'm going to take my Fairy Vanilla cardstock. I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to ink it up in Versamark. This is our clear ink pad. You can use this ink pad so many different ways. You can use it to emboss or you can use it for this technique I'm showing you now. And I'm just going to stamp it near the bottom. Push down nice and firmly. Lift off. I promise I'll clean that later. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my, since we have this, I'll go in with this color. And I'm just going to dab into my chalk. And I'm going to simply tap on. See how that's popping? Super cool. See, and I'm just dabbing on. Really, really fast. And because this is the cardstock I'm using, I want to pull some of that blue in. So I'm going to go in and add some blue flowers. Just like that. And they're almost all done. If you want to go in and make it darker, you can do that. So you can go as light as, or as dark as you like. So for instance, the top of these flowers, I might want to go in a little bit darker. Just like that. Okay, now we need to add some green. And I think I'm going to use a Q-tip for that. And I'm just going to draw in my green stems. And don't worry about the excess chalk because you can you can blow that off or in the kits of chalks you get an eraser which mine's missing in action at the moment. It's probably at the bottom of my stamping bag but that will take off any of that extra wherever you don't want it. Okay. Isn't that pretty? And now we're just going to add an expression. I'm just going to use my black stays on and I'm going to use the thank you. And I'm just going to stamp that there. This is another really, really simple card. It's not a whole lot of layering or anything going on. And I'm just going to put that right on the front. Just like that. Really easy, really fast. So there you go. That, by the way, is called the Pop and Pastels. And you can keep going back in, you know, adding darker colors if you wish. Make you feel like you're a real superstar artist, which of course you are because you're using Stampin' Up! products. Uh -huh. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that. See, it's kind of hard to stop once you get going. And uh, I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching and happy stamping!